Bring it out. And he said unto them, right. I must preach the kingdom of God. I must what? I, I must, must preach, preach the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. No, I must sit at home. I, I must preach the kingdom of God. God. I must sit at home on my laptop watching TV. I, I must, must preach the kingdom of God. God. Right, read. To other cities to what? also. To what? To, to other cities also. Not only Oakland. To, to other, other cities also. also. You want to stay at Lake Merritt forever. To, to other, other cities also. also. So you got to preach the kingdom of God at other cities, man. If you truly are an apostle of Yahweh, you got to be preaching the kingdom of God in other cities. Right. Right. Read. For therefore I am sent. For therefore I am what? For, for therefore, therefore I am sent. Vallejo. For therefore I am sent. For therefore I am sent, man. To do the work, man. To name a Hashiach Yahweh in every city that we go to, man. That's, That's right. the goal, man. Right. right? Whether it be California, a Milwaukee, a uh, Atlanta, it don't matter, man. The Lord said, preach the kingdom of God. So long as there's Israelites there, you gotta go there and preach the kingdom of God, man. Right? To do this work. Right? Five, verse seven, verse seven, verse seven. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14 and 23. Yeah, God, 23. And the Lord said unto the unto the servants, right? Go out to the highways and hedges. Right? And compel them to come in, right? That my house may be filled. That my what? That, that my, my house, house may be filled. The Lord said, Go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled, man. We want the, hey, give me the book of Numbers, chapter 11, verse number 28, man. We want the, the house of the Lord to be filled with Israelites, man. We want the house of the Lord to be filled with Israelites shaking their hand, man. Praise in the name of Yahweh, Right? Bring this out, Numbers, chapter 11, and verse number 8. Skip to verse 20, uh, 29, man. Let's get to the point. Numbers chapter 11, verse 29, right? Where we got it. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 11, and verse 29. Right. Look, oh. And Moses said unto them, right? Envious thou for my sake. Right, do you envy for our, my sake? You see the brothers, they shaking their hand mightily. Man, I wish I could do it like that too, man. And the Lord said, envious thou for my sake? You think this is myself? Right, read. Would God that all the Lord's people were prophets? What did the Lord say? Would God, God that all, all the Lord's, Lord's people, people were prophets? Hey, Moses said, hey, would to God that all the Lord's people were prophets, man. And read. And that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. We want all Israel to be there shaking their hand, man. We want all Israel to be mighty, man. That's why we out here. Right? Hey, you believe the Bible? Right? And we want all the Lord's people to be shaking their hand, man. Be mighty, man. Hey, read it. Hold and post. Right? Literally doing the work in Havash and Yahweh's side. That's right, huh? Right? What the God, hey, it's not just about Moses. It's not just about Aaron. It's not just about this and the third. The Lord will, and hey, we will want the Lord to then raise up all the Israel, man. Shaking their head and doing the work in Havash and Yahweh's side. Right? What kind? Let's bring this out. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Bring it out. Preach the word. Be the word. Preach the word. I say at home. Preach, preach the, the word. word. The Lord said, preach the word, man. Preach the word. It don't matter. You have to be preaching it for the words of Yahweh and Yahweh's son. You, we, we literally have to be doing that. Right? Read. Be instant. Be what? In, be, be instant. instant. Be instant, man. You have to be instant to preach this word, man. At a drop of a dime. And doing back-to-back -back lies. And going to camp. A back-to-back camp. A overtime. A, it don't matter. The Lord said, do this work. Right? Read. In season. Right? Out of season. In season. Out of season. No matter. That's it right. can be 50 degrees. It can be 100. The Lord said, still do this work. Hey, brother. Brother. Believe the Bible? What's that for the Bible? Right. Right. Reprove, uh -huh. rebuke, right. exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right, and that's what we out here to do, man. To rebuke and reprove with all long suffering and doctrine, man. That's why we got a. Hey, guess what? Let's go to the book of Second Timothy. Oh, it's, it's working. All right, come on, come on, all praises. All right, let's go to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 15, man. The second, Lord said, oh, okay. The 2 Timothy, God. chapter 2, verse 15. Right? Get out. Starting to show thyself approved unto Yahweh. What did the Lord say? Starting to show thyself approved unto Yahweh. The Lord said, study to show thyself approved unto your God, man. Give me the book of Cyrax, chapter 33, verse 17. Right? This is why we study. This is why we read it. This is why we're doing everything that we're doing. It's not just for ourselves. It's for Israel, man. Right, we're doing it for our people. Let's go to the book of First uh, Chronicles, chapter 19, verse 13. We're not just doing it for ourselves. Right, we're doing it for our, our, our wives. We're doing it for our children. We're doing it for our nation, man. We're doing it for our God. Right, let's bring this out. Cyrac 33, verse 17. It's the book of Cyrac, chapter 33, and verse 17. Bring it out. Consider that I labor not for myself only. What did the Lord say? Consider, Consider that, that I, I labor, labor not, not for, for myself, myself only. So we don't labor just for ourselves only, but for what? But for all them that seek learning. But for what? But, but for, for all, all them, them that, that seek, seek learning. learning. For all them that seek learning. So if you seek learning, that's what we we have to we have that role to teach. Oh, you, you said what? Well, yeah, I need some learning. Oh, you need some learning. All right, so what? Lead them with the scripture. Get better. What's your question? Huh? Yeah, 
go to uh, Genesis chapter 1. Right? Let's go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. Yeah, come. When the sun sets, that's the, that's the, that's the end of the day. In the beginning of the next. Right? So let's go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. It's the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. Right? And God called the light day. Right? And the darkness he called night. Right? And the evening. And the what? And the evening. And the what? And the evening. And the morning was the first day. Right, so that's, that's the day. Yeah, kind of, so that's when the day was at evening. So even when you go to uh, Leviticus chapter 23, when it goes to the day of atonement, it says from evening to evening, which is how you celebrate the Sabbath. So it will be from evening to evening, right? And that will be a span of 24 hours, but uh, yeah, exactly. So Friday, Sunday, the Saturday, Sunday. That's how, that's how it's kept in. Kept in. At Sunday. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the book of Luke, chapter twelve, verse uh, forty-nine. Let's go to Luke, chapter four, verse uh, forty-nine. Let's go to forty-nine. Now let's also go to the book of Second Andrew, chapter five, verse number thirty-two. Come on, bring this up. It's the book of Luke, chapter twelve, and verse forty-nine. Right. I am come to send fire on the earth. Hey, you have a minute for the Bible. And that is a hard question. It's a hard question. Are we looking at it as a man or we'll as say, the Son of God, sitting at the right hand of God? Well, what does he look like? And does he does he look does he resemble more so you or does he resemble more so me? What would you say? So what does the Bible describe Jesus Christ as? God is God in human flesh. God in human flesh? Yes. So let's go to Revelation. Can we read that for you real quick? Yes. Alright, let's go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse number 1. And then let's get down. Alright, let's go to Revelation. It's the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Right. Oh, the, Re the revelation of Jesus Christ. So revelation means to reveal. Right? Absolutely. We gotta let's, go, buddy. Let's, oh, yeah. you, wait, but let, let's read it real quick. Let's read it. Jump down to verse 14. Which God gave unto him let's get to verse 14, huh? 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What did the Lord say? His, his head, head, head and his hairs, hairs were white, white like wool. wool. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ is not a white man. That's right. He read as white as snow, right? And his eyes were as a flame of fire, right? and his feet like unto fine bread. And his what? And, and his feet like unto fine bread. Casey White. And his feet like unto fine bread. Now it was red. And his feet like unto fine bread. Read. As if they were burned in a furnace. Right. So hey, you eat much is done, man. Right. That's right. America's finished, man. That's because right. Because nobody believes in that crap anymore, man. Like literally, hey, hey, Revelation chapter one literally says that. Hey, guess what? Our God, hey, the son of the Most High God, Yahweh Shah, right, is a black man. White woolly hair and red eyes, man. Right. It's coming back to kill a lot of Edomites, man. Uh, and put him in chains, man. It's slavery, man. That's our God, man. That's our that's our Savior. Right? Let's get hey, let's get some priests on that, man. Right, let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Right? We're teaching all the lies that they taught on our Lord, man. Right? He's speaking down to the Son of Man. Hey, you gonna get hey. And who's gonna catch him? Man. Right. Calling him a hey, paint him as a white man. You think the Lord forgot about that? You think, you think the Lord's just gonna put that on the table? Nah. And the Lord said, give me the book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 1. Give me Psalms 94 verse 1 for you. Right? 
be so much at the 94 verse 1. This is what the Lord said. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 1. Bring it out. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. What the Lord say? Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Right, Oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Right, so uh, unto the most high belongs vengeance, man. And he's going to execute vengeance upon his adversaries. That's right. And his enemies, right? And his enemies are none other but the so-called white, uh, right? And the other nations, right? And everybody that does not want Yahweh to rule over them, who just wants to aid the so-called white man to rule over them. Man. And that's Luke chapter 19, verse 27. In fact, let's get that preacher real quick. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. And the Lord has enemies. The Lord has enemies, if you didn't know that. This is not Christianity. Hey, ask Barzia. Hey, Barzia, is this Christianity? Hey, this ain't Christianity. <laughs> hey, God, hey, this not this not Christianity, man. Yeah. Right? God does not love everybody. He actually has enemies. That's right. right? Let's go to Luke chapter 19, verse 27. This is the book of Luke, chapter 19, and verse 27. Right? Bring it out! But those mine enemies. What do you want to say? But those my enemies. But those my what? But those my enemies. Right, read. Which would not that I should reign over them. Right? Bring hither. And slay them before me. And do what? And, and slay, slay them before me. Nah, nah, kiss them. And, and slay them before me. Hugs and kiss them. And, and slay them, them before me. The Lord said, slay them before me, man. He said, those my enemies which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me, man. That's what the Lord said to his enemies, right? Hey, sister, y'all got one minute for the Bible? One minute. Oh, no, bye. Good night. Hey, come learn. Come learn y'all that's done. Oh. Hey, come learn. Hey, what do you guys call yourself? What's your nationality? Black. Black? You say the same thing? Black? Yep, African American. Af Black African American? Psych. Like, well, American. Well, so I asked you for your nationality, right? Right. Black is just color, though, right? When we agree to that? Black is just color, right? right? So black is not a nation. I can't fly to a country named black. You know, what type of language would they speak there? Right? It's no language, it's no country, no flag called black, right? It's no land called black. So that that wouldn't be a nationality, it's just a color. And in fact, are you guys really black if you look at your skin? Are you guys really black? Are you guys nope. that color? Nope. Nah. So why are we calling ourselves black? It don't make any sense, right? So we shouldn't be calling ourselves a color. In fact, the Most High, God calls us, the Most High doesn't call us a color. Let's go to Malachi chapter two, and verse number two, right? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. In fact, the Lord calls us the children of God, that's right. right? The Israelites, that's what uh, the Lord calls us, right? In the terms, I know you said African American as well, right? African American, all these all these things are Bibles, right? Because we've been called colored, black, African American, Afro American. There's so many names that they put on us, right? Most I was never calling us that, right? right? Let's go to, uh, where are I call, uh, let's go to Isaiah 65. Let's go to Isaiah 65. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. Right? And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Ye shall what? And ye, ye shall, shall leave your, your name, name for a curse. curse. So that being called black and African American, that's a curse. Because what does black essentially mean? Black is also always associated with darkness, evil, right? We we not supposed to be evil. We're not an evil people. The Lord actually said we're a holy nation. Let's go to first Peter chapter two verse nine. Right? We we not dealing with evil. You know what I'm saying? We should be dealing with that. The Lord wishes to be holy, right? Y'all know what holy means? Holy means like, holy, when you go into that word, it means set, set, set apart, separate, right? When you look at our people, at the so-called black people, we're unique people, right? We do everything different, right? We dress different, we walk different, we talk different than anybody else. We just that unique people, right? So the Lord called us a holy nation, a separate people. Why? Because the Lord chose us. Right? Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Right? But ye, but, but ye are a chosen generation. You are a what? But ye ye are, are a chosen, chosen generation. generation. Right, read. A royal priesthood. Hey, what? Hey, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. Just, we just niggas. A, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. We just bad bitches. A, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. We are a royal priesthood. That's what we are. We not we not any of the things that we portray ourselves as. That's right. We're not niggas. We're not spicks. We're not gangsters we're not that the lord calls a holy nation and a peculiar people right read and holy nation right a peculiar people right that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness 
into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord said we're a holy people, a separate people, right? Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Wait, read, read that part one more time, Bob. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord chose us. Did you guys know before coming up here, right, that the Lord had a chosen people out of everybody on the planet? Because you got different nations, you got different people on the planet, right? You got like, you got Samoans, you got uh, Tongans, you got Chinese people, you got Japanese people. Like these are different ethnicities of people, right? So the Lord actually has a chosen people though. And that chosen people is us, right? Right. right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the chosen people of the Lord, right? And that's what makes us set, set apart at home. Now, let me demonstrate that real quick, right? Because I can just be lying to you, right? I got to prove that. Let's put it in Deuteronomy. So what? You got two minutes? All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 7, 28. Number 15. Let's bring it out real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 15, right. but it shall come to pass right. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses all shall, these what? All all these these curses curses right, shall come upon right. thee and overtake thee. Right, so when you look at our people, right, the so-called blacks in America, are we living good as a whole? No, no right? We damn barely getting it out, man. Yeah. Right, we live in check to check. We gotta go to work every day just to provide, just, just to provide. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, we're not living good at all. The Lord said, if you don't follow my commandments, you're gonna be a curse. And we're, and that's that's the condition that we're living. We're cursed as a people, right? Because we got living. So let's let's demonstrate that real quick, right? Let's go to verse 16. Verse number 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. What the Lord said? Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So when you go to any city, you go to Vallejo, you can go to Concord, you can go to uh. Uh, uh, any city in America, right? Who's always living in the bad parts of the city? Who's always in the ghetto? On the south side, on the east side, right? Who, wh what type of people is that, sis? Who's living there? Who li who's living in the ghetto? Everybody. Color. Everybody? Yeah. Color. So we, so we can go to a, a ghetto full of Chinese people. Yep. Where's that? Chinese. Not Since that's not a ghetto, that's not a ghetto. I'm talking about the goods, the slums, like that's ghetto. Okay. Okay. They got the white people in the ghetto. Okay, so so all right, so who's who's mostly there? I'll ask that. Who's mostly there? African American. I mean, that's that's in the undeniable. We literally have the highest poverty rate amongst the Hispanics in America. Hispanics and black people. When you look at the statistics, we actually have the highest poverty rate in America. Right? That's facts. It's not the Chinese. They got their own country. China, China damn, they're up there with America right. in terms of, uh, of them being rich. They, they're not living in the hoods. That's not us. We living in the hoods. That's right. right? That's a fact. You go to any hood, we there. It's not Chinese people. It's not Japanese people. You know what I'm saying? It's mainly us. So that's a curse that's put on us because we're not obeying God. Right? Let's keep reading. And curse shall thou be in the field. And what? And curse shall thou be in the field. So when you look at these signs right here, who's cursing this field? That was literally us at uh, 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 sundown to sundown picking picking cotton for 400 years. We were cursing the field, right? That happened to us, and that little that literally happened, and that that was not too long ago, right? We can't just forget about slavery. Oh, that was a long time. That was then. They're like, hey, that was just 100 years ago. We were doing that. Right, the 200, 200 years, that was, we were literally doing that. So we was cursing it in the field as well. So that's, that, that's, that fits us. Let's go to verse 68. Verse number 68. Right. And the Lord shall, shall bring thee oh, right. into Egypt again with ships. What did the Lord say? And the Lord, Lord shall, shall bring thee into Egypt, Egypt again, again with, with ships. ships. So the Lord said, a nation of people, the Israelites, going to go to slavery again on ships. Sisters, how do we get here to America? On a ship. Say on a ship? Yep, in the water. Okay, what do you guys say? You say the same thing? I don't know. We got, so, we got dragged by the white people. You got dragged by the white people, right? Yeah. On the ship, right? So the Lord said, let's read that one more time. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right? With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. So the Lord said, you're going to go into Egypt again with ships. 
So what does the word Egypt mean? Egypt means bondage, slavery. Let's get that real quick. This is Exodus 20 or whatever. This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Right For I am the Lord thy God, which right. hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out, out of, of the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. So the Egypt is synonymous with the word bondage. Bondage means slavery, right? So the Lord said you want to go into slavery again, but this time on ships. Who went into slavery on ships? What you say? who went into slavery on ships? Oh, that's black folks. That was, that's us, right? Now, now the Lord, he's talking to the Israelites in his book. In his whole book, he's talking to the Israelites, right? Now, he's not talking to black people, right? Because he never called us black people. He's, he's, he's talking to the Israelites. So if that fits us, can, can we can we think of any other nation that went to slavery on ships? Any, any nation off the top of your head? Was it Chinese people? Indians. You said the Indians? What about the Indians? You talking about Native Americans? Yeah, yeah, they went, they, they on the sign. We teach that, the, the Bible teaches that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as a whole is one people, right? So yeah, they did too. But any other nation outside of that? No, right? It's only us. Right. So if we fit that, that must make us who? <laughs> it is clicking, right? It should be clicking. Right. Is it slavery with the Chinese people in them little machine shops and shit? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Behind the scenes. I, I that's mean, slavery? I mean, that, that's a form of just servitude, right? That's a form of just working, working, working. But the thing is, slavery, did they, they go through that? That's what, that's what we nope. talk about. No. Nobody else went through that, right? It was only us. Now let's keep reading. Again with ships, right. by the way whereof I spake unto thee, right? Thou shalt see it no more again. So have we gone home since we got no beer? No. Nah, man. Right. So that the Lord said, Thou shalt see it no more again, right? Read. And there ye shall be sold. Right. And, and when you get off those ships, what's gonna happen to you? Ye shall be sold. Shall be what? Ye, ye shall, shall be sold. sold. So ye shall be sold. Were we not bought and sold when we got off the slave ships? We we're bought and sold, right? So, so that literally fits us. Right, we're your soul, right, Reed? Unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto, Unto your, your enemies. enemies. Unto your friends. Unto, Unto your, your enemies. enemies. Unto your enemies. Who is buying us and selling us? White people. White people. Now, what does the Lord call them, sister? Enemies. Your enemies. Uh, Would you agree with that? Yep, 100%. Right? Are you sure? Would you agree with that, sister? Because would your friend literally put you in slavery and take away your kids from you? And then book break you. Nah, you're not gonna do that. Only your enemy's gonna do that, right? Let's keep reading. Madness. Unto your enemies, right? For bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And what? And, and no, no man, man shall buy you. And no man's gonna be able to redeem you from your captivity. Because a lot of times people like like to tell us we're African, right? Like we're Nigerian, we're damn uh, Ethiopian, whatever. They try to tell us that we're African, right? Just say, oh, where, where am I from? They just say, hey, hey since you're African, right? That's what they try to tell us, right? But how come, if we're African, how come no African nation came and tried to liberate us from our captivity? Right. If we're the same people? That don't make any sense, right? right? You literally got so many crises in Africa. Don't you think they could have came over here and said, hey, get my people out of slavery. Why, why y'all doing that? For 400 years, they didn't give a damn because we're not the same people. When the Africans come over here from Africa, right? Do they deal with us? Yeah. Hell not. They kind of walk in with a bald head and a damn uh, uh, thing in their lip yeah. and rings around their, uh, their oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And they kind of just, they try to copy us, but they can't copy us, man. They try to, they want to be like us, but they can't. You just ain't got the swag. You ain't got the spirit on you, right? So that's that's them. So we're not Africans, sister. We're not Africans. We're not black. The Lord called us Israelites, right? Let's go to John chapter 1, verse 47. So that scripture, we got me our cousin. Say you got to meet your cousin? Yeah. All right, two, two more. Two more? You better sleep beside him. Hey, two more? Ten more. Hey, it's two more. more. <laughs> it's the book of John. I'm serious, two more. Two more, baby. This is the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 47. Jesus saw, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. Behold a what? An Israelite indeed. A black person. An Israelite indeed. African American. An Israelite indeed. I'm colored. An Israelite indeed. So the Lord will call you an Israelite, sister. Right? 
He will call you a the Salaki. The Lord will call you an Israelite. That's right. The Lord doesn't call us black people, African Americans. The Lord calls us Israelites. Can y'all say that? Israelite. That, uh, Israelite. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, real quick, and I said two words, right? So let's go to the book of Leviticus chapter eleven, because we as Israelites have to keep the law, right? You know what the laws are? Like commandments. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Like yeah, like the ten, right? But there's actually more than ten. Because within the ten, it's only it's only a few laws. There's actually more laws than that. Like for example, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you like? Wouldn't it be uh, uh, wicked if I prostituted my daughter? That'd be wicked, right? If I turn my 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 own daughter into a prostitute, that'd be wicked, right? You'd be like, what the hell are you doing? That's all, right? But that's not in the ten, so you can't tell me nothing, right? It's more than ten commandments. That's what you're trying to tell this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 7. Right? Get out. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. The swine. Y'all know what swine is? Pig, right? Exactly. Pig. Don't you pig? Hell yeah. Bacon, though. I do pork. Bacon. I'm on pork. Hella bacon. Bacon. Bologna, damn, pork chop. Pork, 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 yeah, all right, so let's, let's read it, right? <laughs> so the Lord actually said something about that bacon. We're going to find out, right? And the swine, though he divide the hoof right? and be cloven footed, right? yet he too of not the cut. Yet he what? Yet, yet he too of not, not the cut. cut. He is unclean unto you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean unto you. you. So the Lord said that the pig is actually unclean. I mean, but would you agree to that, though? That makes sense, though, right? Pig is unclean because, I mean, it's literally just a living trash can. It's a trash can, right? You feed the pig anything, it's gonna eat it, right? Why? Why would I eat a pig that eats? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, there was a there was an account of somebody taking care of pigs, right? He kind of fell into the uh where the the gate is, where the pigs were, right? And yeah, the pig fed, yeah, exactly. And she got eaten up a lot. There's an account of that. So we eating that, you know what I'm saying? You basically you kill, right? Now let me read, right? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their what? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Wait, wait, no bacon? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. No poop or sandwich? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Baby back, really? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. But I love bacon. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. The Lord said, of their flesh shall ye not eat. We can't eat. Right? And their carcass shall ye not touch. Right? They are unclean unto you. They are what? They are unclean unto you. The Lord had to say it two times. We got it really in our head because we know hey, the Lord is a hey, But the Lord said, good, we can't eat pig. Now, are y'all sisters, are you are you willing to put down pig for Yahweh? Are you willing to put down pig for the Lord? Yep. Uh, 100%. <laughs> hey, hey, be real. Be real because the Lord is always watching. Because look, let's go to, uh, let's go to John chapter 46, verse 15. He said what? She said she got to eat bacon. Well, let's, let's eat bacon. I, I got to test it. There you go. Ever since I was in the city, that don't make sense. You said you're going to go to hell for bacon. What the hell is that? Can I say I eat bacon for a little time? No, but yo. My brother is bringing it out of here. He said, I'm going to stop eating bacon. That would be righteous. I used to eat pans and bacon. I used to love bacon. All right, brother. No, but I was saying like that. To put down that bacon, and you an Israelite. Right. Y'all Israelites gotta repay, keep the commitment. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have. Hey, man. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey read John 14, 15. Right. Hella loud for them, man. Huh? This is John chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it up. If you love me, keep my commandments. Right, hold on, what the Lord say? If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. So y'all hear that? Hey, if you love the Lord, you got to keep his commandments. You got to do as he says if you love the Lord. Don't eat no bacon. Put down the bacon, sister. Put down the bacon. Do it for you. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 66. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 
verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Will come with fire and with the chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. To render his anger with fury. The Lord coming very furious, very angry, man. You can't be playing with the Lord and just put that damn part down, man. Just do it, man. It's not that hard like the brother said. And his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword when he bleed, the Lord will bleed with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be made. And the what? And the slain of the Lord shall be made. And the what? And the slain of the Lord shall be made. Right, because there's going to be many men, many women that don't want to put down their sin, man. They don't want to repent, man. Give me the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 20. Now, Lord willing, she does. But what I'm saying is you yeah, have a lot of our people saying now nah, i'm aware of this i'm i'm a, i'm gonna eat for it i'm gonna do what i want man and that's why the lord said the slain of the lord is going to be many right read they that sanctify themselves and build up and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh eating what eating, eating swine's flesh. flesh eating what eating, eating swine's flesh, flesh. And the abomination right, and the, the mouse uh -huh. shall be consumed <laughs> together. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be consumed, consumed together. together. Right? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord, man. Uh, that's what the Lord said. He 